Welcome back fellow gamers. I want to talk to you today about my experience with the game Soma or S-O-M-A. I don't know how it's pronounced, but it was a fun game and I want to detail what I liked about it and why you should give it a try. So I bought it on a Steam sale. I got it for about $15. Uh, currently it's $30 because there's no Steam sale going on. The game came out in 2015 and is a FP... It's not an FPS because there's no actual shooting in it. It's first person survival is what it is. I guess the S could stand for survival, but <laughs> that's not what it meant. I think that's an important distinction to make because there is no shooting in this game. There's only hiding, escaping, running away, figuring out puzzles, and then just progressing to the end game. So if you're somebody who's looking for a survival horror, but you like to equip yourself with some sort of weapon, that's not doable in this game. And I, for one, thought that it was a great thing. I enjoyed the fact that I was completely powerless. Uh, and it added to the claustrophobia of being trapped under sea. So the game takes place under sea. I don't want to give away any of the story, so this is going to be spoiler free. All I'll say is the tension is real in the game and it is done superbly. The, the progression of the game is at a great pace. It took me about 12 hours to complete. I would actually like to underscore the fact that it's more of a story than a game. And you're just evolving and going through the steps with the main character the protagonist and i like that aspect it wasn't i didn't so much feel like i was really playing a game i was more or less solving some small puzzles here or there but really just keep trudging forward i thought it was really cool uh, it is available as i mentioned on the pc but it is also available on the ps4 no xbox uh, i would really recommend picking it up if you're just looking for something that you can play through uh, one time is enough i don't know if i'll come back to it i'll definitely keep it on the shelf for a few years and then maybe replay it down the line. But I thought that the atmosphere was great. The characters were well written and well acted. The story is interesting and the mystery around what really is going down and it, it's really cool. I liked it. I think that if you're into survival horror but with like a tinge of sci-fi, well no, you know, it's not a tinge, it's, it's seeped in sci-fi. So that's, that's actually pretty cool. I'd really, Think about giving it a go if that's your type of thing and if not if you really if you thought alien isolation was like too slow paced or uh you wanted more action then definitely this game is not for you <laughs> if you liked alien isolation this game actually might be for you i enjoyed alien isolation and this takes it up a notch with no guns the thing about this is that you don't have a constant predator you're a lot of times figuring stuff out i found the enemies or bad guys whatever you want to call them were, were few. There weren't that many. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, there's not a lot of engagement. There's some hiding around on each level to do. And uh, really, I, I appreciated the end game a lot. I think that because of the way they drew out the story and the narrative, it made the ending rewardable. Uh, and that's the only thing I'm going to say. And, and rewardable doesn't mean like you're like, yeah, or you're like, ah, oh, like it's just it's a good ending and it makes you think. This is the first you hear of Soma. Let me know if this is a game that you'll be picking up. If you've heard of it, why didn't you want to pick it up? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, you can check out another one of my videos right over here. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can do that right here. It lets you know when we go live for our live streams and when we upload new videos just like this one. I'd like to thank you for making me a part of your day. And until next time, good gaming.